Now you can use this ability to set things or create things in the array. So let's delete this and have an empty list. And instead of the inventory length, which would be basically zero, let's set it to 10. And so we're gonna set the inventory items. So we'll say inventory i equals to i, basically the number as it increases each time. And then we'll print out when it's done running this line of code 10 times and this whole is ended, we'll then print out the resulting inventory and see what happens. So there you go. It's got a list of 10 numbers in there. So you can create whatever you want in there. And it's assumed that this is dynamic to add things into it. Maybe it copies from another array or creates some basic numbers, or maybe it just adds some zeros and you modify it over time. So we can loop through it again. So we'll literally copy pasta coding, right? Except in this case, we're gonna take the existing value and then add one to it and then copy pasta this. So now we're gonna have the first array with 10, but then the second one adds a one to the existing array. So it's two all the way up to 11. So not only can you create things from scratch, you can also modify existing things using these four loops to loop through them.